My name is Daniel Dronesfield. I'm a filmmaker, obscurely renowned cryptozoologist. Here we are on the island of Oahu, searching for giant wallabies. Wallabies. The wallabies. This is the wallaby. The wallaby. Wallabies are not native to Hawaii. Wallaby on Oahu. A wallaby is a type of kangaroo. The animal was grazing here on the top of Lanza's grass. I'm so surprised because kangaroo in here, in Hawaii, I mean, around the you know, neighborhood, I, I'm not, I'm shocked. You guys ever see any wallabies around here? Nah, it's been a, it's been a, been a fair time since I've seen a proper wallaby. Just where did the wallaby come from? Um, how we got down here, I don't know. There are many unique species in the Hawaiian Islands. My brother moved out to Hawaii in 2008, and uh, being something of an invasive species himself, he's taught himself to become an invasive species expert. Hello, I'm Andrew Dronesfield. What do you want with me? I want to know about the invasive species uh, that exists on Oahu. Uh, invasive species in Hawaii, uh, it's a long, complicated history uh, built on destruction of pristine wilderness, uh, mostly by humans, uh, which I consider the first invasive species in the Hawaiian Islands. What are the native species of the Hawaiian Islands? Uh, well, there were many species of uh, plants, birds, fish, um, land, sea, and air creatures. Uh, that evolved for millennia. Uh, basically anything that could uh, be blown here by the wind or drift here on uh, flotsam in the ocean uh, could arrive on these shores and basically thrive in a pretty unique environment. The original voyagers that landed here brought uh, three animals specifically to help sustain them here. Uh, we got pigs. 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 Scientific name. <laughs> Sus. Scruffa scruffa. <laughs> Chickens. 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 Chickens scientific name is Gallus. Gallus. And dogs. 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 Dog scientific name is Canis Lupus Familiaris. brought a couple more, they think, uh, some geckos, some little lizards that stowed away on their boats. Geckos. Gecko's scientific name is Gekanidae. And rats, which have been a huge, huge menace to uh, the native plants and animals that were here before the Polynesians arrived. Rat's scientific name is Rattus Rattus. Okay, so if every species is invasive or introduced, uh, where does the wallaby fall in all of this? Wallabies are a special category. The wallabies just exist. They're in a very few places. They're pretty much secluded, um, and uh, they're not they're not bothering anybody. They're just hanging out being wallabies. They seem to be very rare, uh, very elusive, hiding in the in the bush most of the time because there are very few pictures of of the ones and very Seldom do we even get reports of people seeing uh, these, these wallabies. out a viewer was able to snap a photo of a wallaby on Oahu. That, that photo was taken in Kalihi Valley where according to the State Forestry and Wildlife Division fewer than a hundred wallabies live. In 1916 Richard Henderson Trent brought uh, two adult wallabies and one baby to Oahu to start a private zoo. Three days after their arrival 
a wild dog attacked the wallabies and killed their baby. The two adult wallabies fled into the bush. There, they created this entire colony. They've been there for a hundred years. It's like, uh, it's like Jeff Goldblum's character said in Jurassic Park, nature finds a way. We had a visiting scientist from back east who was a mammalogist, and he said, could he come here and study the wallaby? And I said, well, sure, I'm getting a lot of questions about it. We need some help. So he and I did some research back in the 60s and uh, actually caught them, trapped them, and I pointed out how difficult it was. They're in a very steep cliff area, They're very difficult to get at. Uh, it could be dangerous going up and down. You either got to, you probably use ropes to find them in their, where they're centered. Based on the work of Skip Lazell and Ron Walker, we do know these brush tailed rock wallabies are a bit larger than their Australian ancestors. Now, it might just be that they're inbred. But it's also possible that this diet of strawberry guava and Christmas berries has allowed them to grow faster and larger than the original Australian population. Whatever reason, natural selection has steered them towards island gigantism. Island gigantism? Island gigantism. Island gigantism is caused by a number of factors. First off is not having any constraints on your life, uh, not having any predators, having ample food. Island gigantism. It's known as the island rule. In island mammals, small animals and omnivores tend to get bigger, while carnivores tend to shrink. In this case, the wallaby's adaptation to their new environment was not only swift, but extraordinarily thorough. Uh, due to the fact that these wallabies are all descendants of a single pair of Australian wallabies, uh, James Lazell Jr. reports that not only did the animal's external appearance change, so did the amino acid structure of at least one of their liver enzymes, which uh, helped them to safely feed on otherwise toxic plants on Oahu. So, they evolved rapidly enough that they were able to eat plants that were poisonous to them in their native land. And they changed color, and now they're giants. 